or $25 a house. And I said, no, nope, I can't do it. He goes, $5 a house. That's all I'm asking. Just like that. Hi, Mitch Bailey here. Sometimes you have to know how to negotiate. And negotiations, sometimes you have to hold your ground. It's just plain and simple. You just hold your ground. It's just not something that, especially if, you're, if your margins are very tight and there's no money, you just, you just tell them. I don't add money to my job, especially when I was doing new construction. And this was back in the 90s. There's this one builder. I bid his work. It was uh, two guys, two brothers, Dave and Bob. They had trust money. They were worth over $300 million. And Bob was the developer end of the, of the, and the sales part. And, and Dave was the builder. He had the contractor's license. So anyhow, <clears throat> I bid all their work every once in a while. I bid a subdivision I'd go in and never got any of them. Then I bid this little 40-house subdivision here in Modesto. And... Uh, he calls me up uh, after I bid it about a week later, two weeks, says, hey, come up here. I want to meet you. So I drive all the way up to Stockton. I come into his office. His office is huge. It's like 400 plus square feet. He's got paintings on the wall worth more than my truck. And, you know, I come in and shake his hand, sit down. And he says, I, I, he says I've heard good things about your company. I want to use you, but I have a problem. I said, what's that, Dave? And he says, you're 150 bucks higher than this other guy. And I want to use you, but, you know, can you, you know, help me out here. And I said, no. I said, my, my price, the price I give you is my best price is the first time. And I said, I don't ever come off of it. And he says, well, how about you meet me halfway? 75 bucks a house. And I said, no, can't do it. And he goes, okay, 50 bucks a house. And I said, nope, I can't do it. And he goes, 70 or $25 a house. And I said, nope, can't do it. And he goes, $5 a house. That's all I'm asking. Just like that. And I said, no, I'm sorry. I can't do it. But I almost reached in my pocket, pulled out $200 and said, if you need the money that bad, here's 200 bucks, which is $5 times 40 homes. But I didn't. I didn't be a dick. <clears throat> I just went ahead and said, just kept my mouth shut and said, no, that's, that's my first price and my best price. So I left. I think, well, I'm not going to get that subdivision. Three weeks later, here comes a contract in the mail. I sign it, do the contract. We're doing the homes. We're on the first 10 houses. They're getting ready to set the equipment. So I see him on the job site. He was out there as I'm walking the job, and he comes run up to me, and he says, you know, just let me know when you want me to write a check to your supplier. I said, pardon me, what for? So, said, well, your supplier, all the other guys I've had, I've had to write a check so they could pick up the equipment. Look, David, I have $250,000 line of credit with my supplier. How about I go pick up the equipment? And then you just pay me, and then I pay them. How does that work for you? And he was like, oh, yeah, that's great. So we did the rest of the subdivision, finished up, didn't have any other problems. I did come to find out later that the reason he was doing, wanted to use us because he'd heard good things. Yeah, that was true. <clears throat> but also, all the other guys had gone bankrupt on him. And when they did, they always stuck him with a lot of unfinished work that he had to pay a lot of money to fix. So... After that, he was bidding eight custom houses in Brookside. These eight custom houses. The smallest one was 3,000 square feet. The biggest one was 8,000 square feet. And I bid all eight houses. I got six of the eight, and the other two he gave to another company. And so I even got the 8,000 square footer, you know. And so I went to him, and I said, David, I said, well, how come you gave this to, the, to, to Royal Air? And he says, well, Mitch they were $3,000 a house less than you. And I said, David, you think I'm making three grand a house? <laughs> you got another thing coming. We just don't make the kind of money, even on custom homes. So anyhow, middle of those subdivisions, or those those customs, that guy went belly up, went belly up on the, those last two houses. So he comes to me, he says, can you finish these two houses? I said, yeah, I can, but it's all time and material. I made more money on those two homes than I did the other six because I charged a living snot out of him. So then every time after that, for years, he would come to me and try to haggle me down, and I would say no. He, he would just, you know, he, and he, in some instances, it would be, there would be like a 500-house subdivision, and the co other companies would be three, $400 less than me. And i just tell him no. I, 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 this is my price. And so we, we did that for years. Slowly, we got pushed out of the way by another company. In fact, the one we did get pushed out with, it was a... Uh, 300 house subdivision and the guy was 300 bucks a house less than I was and he said that's 90 grand and um, that's pays for my supervisor my trailer all this stuff on that on that subdivision so it it was it was um, 
you know, bad that, 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 that it went that way, but we did get pushed out. I did find out later that on that subdivision, the other, uh, uh, builder or the other heat and air guy, he only got, um, um, he only got about 14,000 for the whole subdivision profit wise that he made on the 300 houses. So that's the problem in new construction. When these guys are new in construction, they're do they, instead of asking how much I can make on this house, they ask how little can I do it for, and then they try to do it as efficiently as possible because they cut their margins down to nothing. And the problem with that is if there's any mistakes, if there's any errors, they eat it and they go under. So if you're, it's not, a, it's, that's what I call a wholesale market, not a retail market. Retail market is what we do now. It's all add-on replacement service work type of stuff. Because we're only seeing this customer one time, we chart, we can charge more money. Builders expect to pay less because you're doing multiple homes for them. All right. I hope you liked this, the video. And please like and subscribe. And hopefully you see me on the next one. So thanks for watching.